Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you installing a Samsung Galaxy Note 7 ROM on Samsung Galaxy J7 and J7 Prime 2016. Without further delay, let's get started. Alright, so this is a Samsung Galaxy J7 2016. So also we can also uh, follow this guide for the J7 Prime, which is a 3 gigabyte variant of J7 2016. So in order to flash the uh, Galaxy Note 7 ROM, first of all we need to uh, flash a custom recovery. In order to flash a custom recovery, we need to uh, manipulate some settings. First of all, go to the settings about device, software information, and then you have to tap the uh, bill number uh, seven times until you see the developer options has been enabled on your settings now you can go to the developer option so by default it's going to be turned off so go ahead and turn on that button and then go ahead and enable the OEM unlock as well as be as well as USB debugging so make sure that the both options are ticked and also if you have enabled a Samsung reactivation lock in your Samsung account so you have to disable that too so once you are done everything you need to uh, turn off your phone in order to put your phone into the download mode where you can use to flash a TW WRP recovery. So to put a phone into a download mode and you need to hold the uh, power volume down and the home keys at the same time so hold all of these three combination of keys at the same time until you see this uh, blue screen so then press a volume up to continue into the uh, download mode. Now we are in the download mode so back to the uh, computer view and uh, on your computer so these are all the uh, three files that you need to download and place it on your uh, desktop so the first thing is Odin TWRP recovery and the uh, main ROM file so all the links in the description also you have to download a Samsung USB drivers and install it so once you download all the files um, you have to extract it if it is a zip file and then you can see this is the uh, main ROM file you have to copy this file into your micro SD or memory card only a micro SD do not copy onto the internal storage this is a main ROM file it's around 1.2 gigabytes copy it to a micro SD so then after that you need to open your uh, uh, Odin and then on your phone you can go ahead and connect the USB cable uh, to the computer and then once the drivers has been successfully installed on your computer which is a Samsung drivers on your Odin you're gonna see the uh, message a uh, COM3 so which is indicating that the, both the computer as well as the device communicating properly so now, if you don't see that message, make sure that you have to install the Samsung drivers. Then click on the Options tab uh, for the log and then uh, you have to untick the auto reboot option. Then click on AP and then locate for the file which is a TWRB which ends with .img. So all the links in the description again, go ahead and click on Open. Once you click on Open, then go ahead and click on Start. So when you click on Start, it's just a 5 seconds of flashing. And as you can see, if you see the past message and back to the camera view on your phone, you can see it's going to be stuck into the downloading progress bar so in order to uh, get out of that loop so you have to take off your battery and then like this and then pop your battery in and you have to wait for five seconds so then after that we need to boot into the uh, TWRP recovery mode to do so hold the uh, power volume up and home button so this combination of three keys you have to keep holding until you see the uh, Samsung logo and let the keys go on now you will form we can be boot into the uh, team win recovery project which is a TWRP at first glance you have to allow to modify to modify some changes that are going to be asked you so then after that what you're going to do is always a backup so this ROM contains a uh, tons of bucks especially not tons of bucks it works pretty awesome but camera will not get me work so in you need to back up all of your existing ROM onto a micro SD. Make sure that you have to select all of these options like me and then select your storage location. Always a backup into a micro SD. Then click on backup. This will gonna be take a long time depending on the writing speed of your micro SD. So this will gonna be help us if anything goes wrong so you can also go back to the uh, stock ROM. So now we have done successfully. Now we have to go ahead and wipe your uh, data. So then after that, go ahead, click on the install and then uh, locate for the zip file. So which we copied uh, to the uh, uh, micro SD. So I always recommend copy the zip file into the micro SD only. So this is a zip file which is the uh, main 1.2 uh, gigabytes file so select that and then swipe to confirm flash 
So now it's going to be take a time. So as you can see, it's going to be show you some of the red marks. Don't worry. It's just normal. And then now we can see it's almost done. Once it's almost done, this time we need to perform a, a full factory reset mode. Press the home button and then click on the wipe. When you click on the wipe, you need to select the uh, format data. So here you need to type the uh, message YES, it stands for yes. So then uh, press an L uh, tick mark, this is going to be a flash. This is going to be a format your phone uh, completely. So that means you're going to be wipe everything. It's going to be uh, entirely going to be wipe everything. So just type yes. And then press that little tick button. So it's going to be flat. This is going to be wipe everything. So make sure if you have any important data you have backed up and then click on the reboot system. So once you click on the reboot system, your phone should going to be a boot into a new Samsung Galaxy Note 7 aka Grace UX. So this is really uh, going to be work properly as per my testing. So the camera is only the main thing it's not working, but everything is working properly. So proceed at your own risk. So by the way, if you encounter any problems at this stage, like a boot loop, it's going to be sit or a Samsung logo. You can see somewhere I made another video so that how can you read off this issue and then you can go back to the stock room if you face any kind of a boot loop issues. So you will see somewhere on the screen that's going to be help you you can watch that video. It's also a link in the description for that video if you encounter any problems like flashing uh, uh, no 7 drum. So anyway, so this is going to be take it sometimes. So the first boot, so you have to be a patient and then once it's done, I will be right back with you. No, all right. So now we have successfully, uh, you can see, booted into the Note 7 Grace UX. As you can see, it's a beautiful welcome screen. It's a totally redesigned. So I'm going to be fast forward with the video. So there you go. So I'm going to be fast forward all of the uh, basic settings. And um, this is a based on Android uh, 6.0 Marshmallow. So as I said before, the camera is only the thing this is not working properly, but everything is a pretty, pretty smooth. So I damn sure about it. It's really very, very smooth. Even I compare uh, with my iPhone, so it's really very fast. You know, the animations are buttery smooth. So as you can see, and that's it. That's how you can flash the Galaxy Note 7 ROM on J7 2016. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Until then, bye-bye now.